Did you ever wonder why modern literature seems so distant from the classics? It's like stepping from a serene, familiar garden into a wild, untamed forest. This shift, this chasm, is not merely incidental. It's the result of a profound transformation in literature, the rise of modernism. But what caused this seismic shift? Why did authors decide to break away from the classical norms to forge a new path? To understand this, we need to delve into the history of modernism. Modernism didn't just appear out of nowhere. It was born out of a tumultuous period in history. The late 19th and early 20th centuries were a time of immense change. The world was transforming at a rapid pace, and this left a deep impact on the arts, literature included. Industrialization was altering the face of society, introducing new technologies and ways of life. Cities were expanding, brimming with sights, sounds, and experiences previously unimaginable. This urbanization painted a vibrant backdrop for the literary world, providing a canvas teeming with inspiration. And then came World War I, a cataclysmic event that shook the world to its core. The horrors of this war, the devastation and loss, echoed loudly in the hearts of writers. They began questioning traditional forms and norms of literature, seeking to convey the complexities of this new world. These events set the stage for a literary revolution. With the stage set, writers began to challenge the status quo. This was the dawn of the modernist movement, a time when literary giants like James Joyce, Virginia Woolf, and T.S. Eliot dared to question the conventional and create something entirely new. They sought to capture the complexities of human consciousness, and in doing so, they changed the very form and structure of literature. Joyce's Ulysses, for instance, used a stream of consciousness technique that mirrored the chaotic, disjointed nature of human thought. This was a stark departure from the linear narratives of the past. Virginia Woolf, another iconic figure of this era, also employed this technique in her works. Her novel, To the Lighthouse, is a profound exploration of subjective realities delving into the psychological depths of her characters. In the world of poetry, T.S. Eliot's The Wasteland shattered traditional poetic structures. It is a fragmented, elusive work that reflects the disillusionment of the post-war era. These writers, and others like them, didn't just break the rules, they rewrote them. They turned their backs on traditional narratives and embraced ambiguity, subjectivity, and the inner turmoil of their characters. Their work was a response to a world that was rapidly changing, a world that was becoming more complex, more uncertain. It was a rejection of the old and an embrace of the new. Modernism was not just a style, but a radical reimagining of what literature could be. Modernism left an indelible mark on literature. It was more than just a movement. It was a seismic shift in narrative style, theme, and form. Modernism's influence permeated every facet of literature, and its legacy continues to shape contemporary works. Look at postmodernism, for instance. This movement, emerging in the mid-20th century, carried forward the modernist ethos of questioning norms and breaking conventions. The fragmentation and non-linear narratives that were the hallmark of modernism find a renewed expression in postmodern works. Moreover, modernist works continue to inspire and influence writers today. These works, with their bold experimentation and profound thematic depth, have become a wellspring of inspiration. They have given today's writers the courage to defy norms, to question, and to experiment. In essence, the legacy of modernism in literature is one of enduring influence. From postmodernism to the contemporary literary scene, the modernist spirit is alive and thriving. The echoes of modernism can still be heard in the literature of the 21st century. So, what have we learned about modernism in literature? We've journeyed through the birth of modernism, a radical departure from the traditional norms of the late 19th century. We have seen how it emerged as a response to a world in flux, marked by societal changes and technological advancements. We've explored the hallmarks of the modernist movement, where writers experimented with form and narrative, seeking new ways to express the human experience. They shattered linear storytelling, embraced ambiguity, and delve deep into the consciousness of their characters. We've also looked at the legacy of modernism, how it has shaped and continues to influence contemporary literature. It broadened our understanding of what literature could be, pushing boundaries and challenging conventions. 
In essence, modernism was more than a literary movement. It was a seismic shift in how we perceive and represent the world. And its impact is still felt today.